Okay. Now let's talk about value chains. No, para okay. There's the land and land ownership. We talked about that. But what what is a value chain and why does that matter in agriculture? No, for a mayor or a farmer, why should they? What is it that about value chains that they should get that they should comprehend? Well, let me start because ang sabi ng nila, kung farming lang, Filipino farmers are actually quite good. Pero sinasabing, they're not good in business. What business? Pagka-pera lang kayo, then yan pumasok. You're not just producing. This produce must eventually be bought and sold. It can be processed. So many factors. So, the anyway, value chain simply becomes a word for saying, tingnan mo yung kabuoan ng ano, mula sa lupa, pagtatanim, pag-harvest, pag-benta, pag-process, gano'n. And now, different commodities might have different segment. Pero so, hindi, halaga, hindi sapat na nagtanim ka at nagbunga, magaling ka na. Hindi oh, ganun yun. O, kikita ka. Kasi, o, kikita ka. Halimba, kung kakainin mo lang, pero dapat mabenta mo para bumalik sa yung ano. So, a value chain in the end, it ends with, well, by the consumer and the consumer yeah. and consumption. Or you no? can say like production, distribution, consumption. Ayan, they hold the you know, economic But when you talk production, it's not just the work on the land. So mm-hmm. it's also purchasing the necessary Inputs. inputs. It's okay. also knowing mm-hmm. the setting. Uh, it's called fertility, your weather, your water. Your so my science na on oh, yeah. what to plant and uh, how to cultivate. Yeah. And you know. it's, it's important to see the whole process. Kasi kwan eh, I think there are enough studies that's, that show na yung farmer na nagpagod dun sa pagtatanim. Mm-hmm. Marami siyang mga hinaharap na problema, bagyo and so on. Uh, at the end of the, the, the whole the whole process, the product is sold to the market. Ang kumikita talaga hindi yung magsasaka eh. Mm-hmm. It's the, for example, the guy who bought the product at, at farm level, mm-hmm. binenta sa consolidator, ni retail, sila yung mas malaking chunk ng kan eh, sa value of the... <laughs> so the a farmer, <laughs> kahit na maganda yung ani niya, pwedeng lugi lugi pa rin or sa ganda hindi sa pa hindi sa pa may ano diyan may minsan in interview ako ng Pulse Asia sabi nila ganito eh they did a survey about hunger uh-huh. nagtaka sila ang laking portion ng nagdeclare sila hungry farmers sabi niya how can a farmer be hungry uh-huh. and then tiningnan nila these were farmers na ang tinanim ay hindi direct food crop uh-huh. so ano nangyari tumaas ang inputs Tag- tagtataong yung kanilang pinroduce, bumagsak ang presyo. So, farmer siya, pero lalo ano, nalugi at yung kanyang produkto, hindi niya personal makain, so hungry. Kaya choice, uh, tatanda ko si John Pakalyoga sa, sa Dumingag, nung, nung pinromote niyang organic agriculture sa mga subanin, hindi pa ang purpose niya kikita kayo, kundi sabi niya, yung food security ninyo, may makakain kayo, may makakain kayo pero, dahil hindi na bibili ng fertilizer at iba, mas mura yung food security ninyo. So, hindi pa yun ang income. Pero at least, uh, irony naman yun. Siguro, hindi kayo gutom. Siguro at least yung farmer, mm-hmm. hindi dapat gutom. Mm-hmm. So, yung kanyang food requirements, sa, sa, dapat i-address niya. But then, of course, hindi mo lahat mapuproduce. So, kailangan mo may surplus ka at mabibenta para ma- pambili ng mga iba pa. Ito po, especially true in very remote areas siguro. Yeah, yeah. Par- walang karsada. So, uh-huh. alin, magbubulok na yung produkto mo. So, wala kang mabiling mga ibang gamit. So, try to produce uh, as much as you can for yourself. Parang ang Robinson Crusoe. <laughs> na, at least, may pangkain ka. Oh, natanim oh, mo oh, yung oh. kaya mo, yung kailangan mong kainin. Oh, so, so, beyond subsistence farming, no, now oh. you have traders yeah. and ganyan, ganyan. Of course, sila yung may-ari ng truck or whatever. So how do you uh, govern the value chain so that the farmers over time or maybe over a generation aahon uh, sila sa kahirapan? How, how is that done? Siguro, you, you introduce market ideas to farmers and then make them realize that, uh, like Jerry said earlier, pag magtatanim tayo, pag tayo basta magtanim, magsugal, have a good value, uh, good price for our product, meron bang merkado. Mm-hmm. Medyo inisip natin yung market na yung ganito ang presyo doon, ganito yung tatanim natin, ganito yung natin, ganito yung kita dapat natin. So, yeah. with that, 
medyo may pagdating ng trader hopefully medyo may konting ano siya para lang uh, market information para may konting leverage siya sa crucial para sa pring technology at least inf- yung basic info to could be a start already mm-hmm. so started back in 20 anong kailangan mong how anong kailangan mong matapos in terms of education to become a competent farmer in that way nakakaintindi na okay value chain ayun uh, yung bentahan Meron ng mga kwan, nabuong, <laughs> meron ng mga nabuong kwan, di ba? Mga modules. Uh-huh. Uh, ano ba sila? Joan Uy? Mm. Sa, uh, anong group ni Joan? Sa, uh, Marvin Jenkins? Yeah, Marvin, uh, ano? Marshall so Marvin they, they, they simplified the whole process into eight steps, tapos may modules about steps. So farmers need to know oh. these eight yeah. steps? Oh. Oh. Methodical. Yeah. Yeah. Para sa akin, dapat farmer, high school graduate, yan lang. No? Mm. Uh, grade 12. Oh. Grade 12 na yun, ngayon yung... Uh, kasi he will need to, I mean, modern agriculture, he will need to know how to read and write. No? Mm-hmm. Siyempre, you'll want to be able to help him na paano may cellphone, mm-hmm. paano may access sa internet. Pero yung to go back, to back track a little, I think technology is very important also. So the farmer, uh, needs the extension worker, needs somebody, or maybe a more advanced farmer, to help him understand what his inputs are. Mm. For example, if you're going to produce rice, what seeds? Um, if your land is irrigated, you have to be a member of the Irrigators Association so that you ensure the timing of your water coincides with the time that you have the necessary inputs or, th- or that you're going to do your land preparation. So. Siyempre, that requires some financing also. Mm-hmm. Uh, and part of the problem with the financing is the high cost of informal uh, b- uh, lending. Uh, if you go to the Alili, uh, generally, you, you pay 5 to 10 percent a month for your credit. Mm-hmm. But if you go to the bank, uh, you can get it at uh, maybe 1.25 percent. Uh, kung sa land ba, you can even go down eventually to uh, 0.75 percent a month. So the difference, 0.75 and 5 percent, malaking, malaking difference. So talagang yeah. mas kikita ang farmer kapag may access sa uh, formal credit. So mm-hmm. yung, yung basic literacy, ma- mahalaga yan. Mm-hmm. Pero considering na many farmers din, hindi siguro nakapagtapos, mm-hmm. we have to find ways to provide popularize, the, the, yeah, popularize the technologies in a way na madaling ma-absorb. And then taking into account also the, the, the local f- experience of farmers para maging very, very applicable yung, kwan, yung technology na isi-share sa kanila. Ang isa ang pinakamaganda yeah. talaga ang method, yung sinasabi niya, yung ta- tawag namin local farmer technician. Uh-huh. Yung mga farmer ito, video pinakamaganda ang yan. Tapos siya ang, ang turuan mo sa uh-huh. group ng farmers. I-support mo na lang ng learning material. Pero siya mismo, kasi unang-una, may authority siya. <laughs> ang farm ko maganda. Which is why uh-huh. you, kaya niya mong kaliwanag. Yung yesterday, uh-huh. yung uh, story of Pilar Bohol uh-huh. for us was very important kasi talagang <laughs> ang ginawa nila ginugrupo yung farmers groups of 25 cluster no? and then may back techs may uh, technicians uh, from the farmers themselves uh, barangay 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 barefoot technicians mm. I think it's so it's so farming ito lalo sa value chain it's very knowledge intensive hindi lang read oh, and write no? may oh, multiplication oh. And may interest <laughs> rates dapat naintindihan nila yun mm. And then, therefore, kailangan din natin ng uh, ways of transferring that knowledge systematically oh. in a way that the farmers can absorb. Yeah, marami yan. Kailangan weather information. Kasi oh. alam mo darating yung El Nino, oh. buka mo na magtatanim ng <laughs> uh, water-intensive yeah, na products. <laughs> Shift to uh, na, na, uh, prod- uh, crops that will not uh, need too much water. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, o pipili ka ng variety. Mm-hmm. Uh, so from season to season, kailangan Ooh. they have the best uh, information yeah. to in to uh, choose uh, to uh, what to plant. Right, right. So yung 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 clustering siya nabi ni Kwan Jerry, cluster you call it clusters, uh, organizations, okay. associations, cooperatives. Mas madaling iparating tong mga technology, mm-hmm. whether information, access to credit, maybe the access to marketing information links to maybe the end market it's possible kung naka-cluster yung ano 
Okay. Na. So that's another important area. So para learning structure so that uh, the farmers yeah. will learn what they need to learn. Yeah. Uh, hindi na nga na, kung nag-drop out na sila from high school, then they will need uh, to catch up uh, through this alternative learning. Ang, ang, the one concept ngayon related to that is yung season long training. So, ang Family learning school. group ka, every uh-huh. Saturday we went to, from, from land preparation up to marketing. Uh-huh. So, yung isang kurso mo is a season long. Yeah. Oh, so, yun na yung practicum mo. No? Nag- uh-huh. Learning ka, pero, by doing. Nakakala ko po. Timely yung pag-aaralan mo kasi ina-apply mo. That's the most naman. effective uh, way of learning. Diba? Yeah, yeah. By, by doing. In, in our <laughs> present system, mahalaga-mahalaga, yung papel ng local government union. Okay. Si mayor, si dapat interesado sa farming kung agriculture ang setting niya. Okay. Sige, and we will get into that in the next segment. So, <laughs> go over the role of the mayor in creating this kind of uh, environment optimal for farmers.